Hi, this is Jeff Miller, the headphone writer here at Crutchfield, and I'm here to talk about the Mark Levinson number 5909 wireless noise canceling headphones. So these are unlike anything we've ever really carried here at Crutchfield. They're super premium Bluetooth noise canceling headphones that are great for work and travel, but they also happen to be, you know, bona fide audiophile headphones that you would plug in to a headphone amp or an amplifier. So it's the Mark Levinson industrial design, and then also that the, the premium high performance sound that the cut that the company is known for. They impress right out of the box, didn't take a lot of warming up to, and they perform well, you know, with a variety of different genres. I listen to Crosby, Stills and Nash, um, to hip hop, to uh, everything else, and um, just an overall premium experience. Really strong mid range, uh, not a crazy outside the head sound stage, but just sort of, but a, but you know, some breathing room, um, spot on imaging, and uh, uh, satisfying bass. So for me, the bass was kind of like right in my wheelhouse out of the box is kind of what I liked, but there is a Mark Levinson app where you can adjust the bass and you can either bump it up a little bit and or uh, or take it down. So in the app, it's called the Bass Contour Adjustments and you can ad adjust it accordingly and, and hit that mark that more fits your listening preference. So it has built-in adjustable noise canceling. It um, actually uses a built-in four mic system to read the room and then kind of adjust itself in real time, like on the fly, make sure it accounts for every noise, ex external sounds and noises you hear around you. So for me, it worked well in my kind of noisy <laughs> home office area with the kids. And sometimes noise canceling headphones, the noise cancellation is like kind of, you either get the good sound or the noise kids. It's, it's kind of, they're at odds with each other. In this case, they kind of complement each other. You don't get that drop in quality. In fact, the engineers made sure that there wasn't that drop in quality when you turned on the noise cancellation. So along with like a cool look, it's a really, it's sort of a luxury design where it's, you got the high grade leather and the really soft ear cups. They look larger than most Bluetooth headphones and in your hand they may even feel that way. Um, but when you put them on your head, they distribute the weight in a way that it's not you know, overly cumbersome. In fact, it's nice form fitting, a little snug, but they'll stay in place as you move along. There's controls right on the right on the ear cup for phone calls, noise cancellation. Design touch is sort of the, the, the name of the game here. You see the stitching on the leather headband, the heavy duty nests of the frame, and then even like, you know, you get that pop of aluminum on the side, but the paint that they use on the ear cups themselves is like that high grade automotive paint like you would get, like you'd see on a, a really nice car. So just a really beautiful headphone on camera, but also when you have it sitting there holding it in your hand. So they have Bluetooth 5.1, which is a uh, one of the latest versions of Bluetooth. It has a longer wireless range. I was able to put my phone down on my desk and walk clear across the basement. It also has Aptex Adaptive and LDAC built in, which my phone actually has LDAC, and these are higher quality ways to stream Bluetooth and um, get, get some good sound that way. I think what makes these special is that, you know, when you're, on, when you're out at the office, when you're traveling, that, that's great to have that wireless convenience, but when you get home, you can actually plug them into a headphone amplifier, turn off all the audio circuitry, all the DSP, all the um, internal amplification, and still get a premium audio file experience that you know people put, plug into their headphone amp. I was able to plug them into some pretty high grade ep headphone amplifiers and a few different ones, and they sounded great through through those. That's it's, that speaks to the level of driver that's involved here. We got a beryllium driver. Beryllium is a very low mass, uh, rigid material that has great damping characteristics. So low distortion across all frequencies, that high grade sound so that, so that they can deliver that targeted Harman curve that most people would prefer. And it's interesting because, you know, there are obviously other Bluetooth headphones, you can plug them into head, to headphones, listen passively and you can hear sound and you can hear pretty good sound. But um, it's not as if like that's like a feature of the headphone. In this case, they've included uh, two sizes of listening cables, 13 foot cable, like they're so confident in their drivers that they're encouraging you to listen, to plug them into your high-end headphone. It's, I mean, it's the Mark Levinson brand. So it's the first headphone from Mark Levinson. So they are, they've made sure they've gone, they've made every step of the way, they made sure that these sound as good as, the, as you know, live up to the name Mark Levinson that's been built over the decades. In addition to those audio cables, they also have a USB-C 
cable for char for recharging the headphones, um, which you may have to do less than you think. They, they get about 30 hours of battery life on a full charge with noise cancellation, and then 34 without noise cancellation. So it should cover most long distance trips there. So when you get to your destination, you're at the airport, you need a quick recharge, just 15 minutes of recharging gives you six hours of listening. So that is the Mark Levinson number 5909 wireless noise canceling headphones. If you have any questions about these or any other headphones, contact us here at Crutchfield and we'll help you out. Thank you for watching.